This week, we've been talking about BUSD a lot. But what is it? Where does it come from? And what are we going to do with it? Well, you're about to find out. But first, you know what to do. If you don't already, please subscribe. We do a new video every week, and we're gonna be broadening out into all sorts of different areas of this fascinating space of ours, so you don't want to miss that. Okay, so BUSD is a stable coin with a market cap of $176 million, and it was created as a partnership between Binance and Paxos in late 2019. And what's important is that it's officially approved and regulated by the New York State Department of Financial Services. Now, if you hang around this space for long enough, you'll know that certain stable coins have come under fire for not being entirely, shall we say, transparent about the value of the underlying asset, but that's not the case with BUSD. It's 100% backed one-to-one -one by US dollars held in FDIC-insured US banks. The supply is attested in monthly reports from Witham, a nationally ranked public accounting firm which apparently is a forward-thinking, technology-driven advisory and accounting firm helping clients to be in a position of strength in the new reality of doing business today. You can own the phrase, be in a position of strength. Who knew? But anywho, you can find all of those attestation reports on the Paxos website at this link here. But let's back up for a moment. What is a stablecoin? Well, a stablecoin is a cryptocurrency that attempts to offer price stability and is backed by a reserve asset. It could be backed by fiat, it could be crypto, and where we accept that most cryptos are subject to huge swings in volatility, stable coins are designed to do the opposite. And we've seen a myriad of stable coins spring up in the last two years, like Gemini and USDC. But when you see a big bank create its own stable coin, then you know something must be up. And JP Morgan did just that, becoming the first US bank to create a fiat-backed stablecoin. Now these guys move more than $6 trillion around the world daily, and they're using a stablecoin to facilitate the instantaneous transfer of payments between institutional accounts. In their words, JPM Coin is an evolution of the antiquated and wholly inadequate SWIFT payment system. Using a private permissioned blockchain as JPM doing is a logical choice of technology to move international bank-to-bank -bank payments into the 21st century. Huge flex from JP Morgan, but if you look at what they're saying here, they're saying SWIFT, the technology that's used for cross-border transfers, is inadequate, and they're using blockchain as the solution. Well, that's pretty cool. And what's also cool about stable coins is that the total addressable market for them is essentially all of the money in the world, which at present is a measly $90 trillion. Now, at present, the biggest use case for stable coins is amongst traders looking to hedge positions or exploit arbitrage opportunities. But the goal really is to provide a stable on-ramp to the crypto world for, well, everybody and act as a kind of bridge to legacy financial systems. But it also opens up huge opportunities in DeFi as well, and you only have to look at what Maker have accomplished with DAI to see it's an area of huge interest. Now some stats. During March and April, stablecoin market capitalization doubled from 3.5 billion US dollars to 7 billion US dollars. And in January this year, the transfer of stable coins on Ethereum surpassed the transfer of all other tokens on the platform, including ETH itself, with users spending a total of over $1.8 million in Ethereum gas fees in the last 30 days to send USDT or Tether. And now, basically what that means is users are in need of more efficient ways to transact stable value, i.e. on a very fast chain with very low fees, which would make everything a lot more efficient and a lot cheaper. Now, I wonder where we could find one of those. So there's huge opportunities in payments to build, say, a stable coin version of something like Venmo. You could offer attractive rates of interest on holding stable coins, and with the very real threat of negative interest rates on the horizon, wouldn't that be something non-crypto natives might be excited about? Cross-border payments are, of course, another area of huge interest, and with fast finality, low cost, cryptographic security, as well as vastly increased transparency, this is an area that's ripe for disruption. Although I'm sure Swift isn't that happy about that, or JP Morgan's flex either. But imagine being able to ACH funds directly and instantly into, say, your Binance US account and receive BUSD with almost zero fees. Now does it make sense? 
So, I hope you enjoyed that brief glimpse into the exciting world of stable coins and BUSD. You can check out the Harmony BUSD repo on GitHub at the link below. Otherwise, I hope everyone's managing to stay safe. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. And if you didn't like it, you could always try watching it at double speed. Till next time, peace.